He was fucking distracted by something off of the distance and he stabs off into the sky over here instead of the guy standing right next to him. Yep. Uh, Santa Villa asks, is this the hardest boss from software? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. Pops, yes, we talked about this last time actually. The, the ships, that this is this is below the Nightmare Frontier. Where we are right now, we're below the Nightmare Frontier. It's all the same area. Dash at me, you asshole. Alright. Three. Probably still not enough. I need one more. Then he'll transform. Come on! I got him. Okay. I get another one before he transforms. Holy shit. I want another one. No, he transformed now. on me when I couldn't fucking see a damn thing. The camera went under his ass and I couldn't fucking see where he was, so how do I know if I gotta dodge or move? I have no idea. So thanks to the camera, I got fucked right there. So stupid. I'm not, I got an anonymous $5 tip. Someone said, Phil, unfortunately I have to buy my work friend lunch. I lost a bet. Also, it's a shame we have to tip you anonymously. We well, don't have to, but at least it'll, it'll avoid you from getting harassed. 
by doing it. You know what I mean? If you want to give your name, you can't. We want to give a funny name so people won't know who you are in the stream chat or whatever, right? But sadly, you're right. If you don't tip it honestly and you give your real name, people will harass you in the stream chat because they're idiots, so... Yeah, the camera fucked me. The camera totally fucked me. I know, let's have the camera go straight into the guy's ass. A nice colonoscopy of Orphan of Chaos. Orphan of Cause. Yes, what a great move. Now I'm getting it down. I'm learning the timing of when to do it. Hello guys, how's it going? I've got the first form down at this point. Now I just gotta learn the second form. First form I can literally backstab four times. Run at me. I tried to die. Whatever the game says, I guess, right? I'm gonna backstab a different time. Wow. That was cool. I gotta backstab without the jump that time. Alright, three backstabs. I got time for one more. He's not gonna transform you, I don't think. Come on, one more backstab for me. I forgot. Yes, good shit. Now he transforms. Got backstab on him now. Sweet. Good shit. That was completely unfair. Oh, well, here comes the lightning.
Bye bye. Bye bye. All I need to do is learn the first form. I told you guys. All it was was learning the first form. The second, the second form. It, it, once you know what to do, is wasn't that hard. It's just like it's actually like Ludwig. The first form is the hardest. The first form is actually the hardest. The second form is actually not that bad. There you go. Ali guy just cheered. He said redeemed. That douche kid cheered. He said easy prey. Akio Artorius just cheered. He said praise the sun. Oh wait. I'm not done yet. Hold on. <laughs> I told you it wasn't that hard. It really wasn't. And people would tell me that's the hardest from so from software boss. It's not. Nope. Nope. Sedella just cheered and said, congrats. Thank you, Sedella. Archangel just cheered and said, Thanos is proud, Phil. Thank you, Archangel. There you go. Hold on. I'm trying to contact this fucking black thing, whatever it is. I got to contact it. Hold on. <laughs> All right. Very nice. I'm reading a million stream chat messages right now. Everyone's going nuts, of course, to be expected. All right. So I got the cost parasite. Whatever the fuck it is. Let's see what it is. Wooby Girl also cheats. Sorry for the weird cheers. I'm trying to get a giggle. What is this parasite? I don't know. Uh, where is he? Anyone know what it is? Oh, shit. When the carcass of Koss washed up on the coast, its insides were teeming with tiny parasites unlike any found in humans. This atypical weapon can only be classed Titan Swung, but the Koss parasite is said to simulate phantasms inhabiting a lumen wood. Wow. Thank you to FJ Resto for a $5 tip. He says, congrats, Phil Perseverance. I got an anonymous $30 tip that said, got him. Mick G Man did a $100 cheer, a 100 bit cheer, excuse me. He said, attack the black thing. All right. Ah, oh, it needs 20 arcane to equip it. I don't know what it is. All I guys says, what will I stream after I beat the game next time I stream? I'll probably, next time I stream, we'll probably beat the final bosses, do the chalice dungeons, do a little bit of that. If people still want me to keep going in the chalice dungeons, I will. If not, we're going to swap it up like I told you guys. De uh, probably dead space. But anyway... So I guess I'm supposed to attack this thing. The sky and the cosmos are one, and may the good blood guide your way. Yeah, look. So it kind of looks like a woman's body. It has actual uh, human arms. See that? And it, I believe it has a human face right there. And it has tentacles for hair. See, and it washed up. And apparently parasites came out of this and infected the whole town and turned the people into the fish hybrids. And this is what brought the hunters to investigate. And this is what started. The church was investigating. The school of Mensis was investigating. And after research, they found out these things were not of this planet. They were otherworldly beings. And that's how they started doing, trying to contact the great ones and shit like that. So this is point, you know, the origination point of everything. What the fuck is this? I guess I gotta attack it, right? Nightmare slain. Aha. Uh -huh. We got a cutscene. So one giant fucking sea creature that looks uh, like a human washes up and started all this shit. Sweet child of course. Turned to the ocean. A bottomless curse. A bottomless sea. Accepting of all that there is and can be. Nah, get it? Basically saying there's all kinds of un, un it's like the great unknown. Space and the ocean are the great unknown. You know? 
because there could be all kinds of shit down at the bottom of the ocean we don't even fucking know about. It's true. It's absolutely true. <laughs> so I guess that's it. We're done. Did it oh yeah, I created a lantern. That's it. The DLC's over. Pretty good, right? Orpheus 61 cheered, or excuse me, Orpheus 61 resubbed for the fifth month in a row. Thank you, Orpheus, for the resub. And Wubag did a 1,000 bit cheer. And he says the nightmare is over after 41 deaths. Accio Artorius says go talk to the doll now. Okay. That boss was not tough. I took my time, I was patient, I learned how to beat the first phase easily, and I was able to mess muster the second phase after... Really, I only fought that second phase, what, four or five times? The second phase was actually fucking easy, in my opinion. It's that first phase that's the worst. All I guys says, how do I think Bloodborne compares with Dark Souls? I mean, it's, it's a different style, it's more action-based, because you can't block, you know what I mean? Um, but I think it's good. Gammon awaits you. Go. All right, enough of that. Good hunter. I she won't say good anything. Hunter. Yeah. I... The doll says I nothing. Good hunter. Because sadly... May you find... Yeah. The doll won't say anything because I'm at the end of the game. If I was somewhere else in the course of the plot, maybe she would have said something different. But because I'm at the end of the game, she doesn't even say anything. Tuh. Yeah, Bernie says none of the dialogue works after you kill Burgo. Yeah. It sucks. Well, I guess I'll level up. I have enough souls to do it, right? Uh, I guess I can't use the fucking the, the parasite though, which sucks. Gammon away, go. Very let. Level up again. More fucking vitality or endurance? More endurance. I'll do more endurance. There we go. The Archangel cheered and said, "I want to crush finals like you crush this game." At this point, finally, I've done everything in the game except to finish the Chalice Dungeons. I mean, that's real. the real challenge here would be getting me to finish the Chalice Dungeons. I don't know if I want to, because they're so fucking boring. And last time I tried, people hated it. They were so bored watching me do it. The boss fights they liked, the dungeons themselves they hated. And I agree, the, the Chalice Dungeons themselves are boring as fucking dirt. So, I don't know if I want to do them, quite honestly. I think what I'll do... And by the way, we're down to 444 subs. We dipped a ton, which sucks. But I think what I'll do is I'll beat the game, and I gotta fight German, and then I gotta fight Moon Presence, right? Um, I think after that, I'll go into the Chalice Dungeons just to start them up and see how far I can get. But I don't know if I want to do another stream of it or not. That's gonna depend on the people watching. If the people really want to come back and watch me play the Chalice Dungeons, I'll do them. But if we get people who aren't coming back anymore, no more, you know, not hype streams anymore, because now I beat the fucking old hunters DLC, I'm not gonna bother with the Chalice Dungeons. So we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, Assimilator97 did a 50-bit cheer and said, What is the hardest boss, in your opinion, of all the Souls games? I mean, real talk, the one that was the hardest for me originally was Ludwig, but now I would say it was that champion Gundir, or whatever his name was, right? Although Gundir was, I felt he was a fair boss, back then I wasn't good enough to really face him head up. And because remember, people were saying to beat him, really what you need to do is parry, or have better, and I wasn't very good at the game, so I would say Gundir. I think Gundir was the hardest boss for me, and almost no one would say that either, because they say he's not that hard for me. He was the hardest boss. That boss, Orphan, was not that hard in my opinion. Really, he wasn't. I was patient. I took my time. I learned his pattern. I died a million times to the pattern. That's fine. Then when I was ready for it, I just visceraled the fuck out of him, and dodged a bunch and beat him easily at the end there, so, you know. Uh, Wubeg just cheered, he said, Chalice Dungeons are pretty repetitive. Yeah, I know, that's the problem. The dungeons themselves, so the boss fights are alright. The dungeons fucking suck ass. They're so boring. All I guys says, Gundir is the record holder with 63 deaths. Yeah, he's killed me more than any other boss in any game. I've never died that much to anyone but Gundir. Gundir remains my nemesis. So, you know, eventually, more than likely, I'm sure people will want me to go back to Dark Souls 3. So we'll see. All right, well, I guess that's good, right? We're good for now. Next, you know, I'm not going to beat the game. Next time I play, I'll beat the game and start the Chalice Dungeons. Nothing else to do. All right, very good.